All right, so what is up guys? In the last video we talked about interfaces and in this video I want to go over nested and inner classes and how they work in Kotlin. And let's just jump right into it as always. So let's get started by creating a class and we are going to call this class outer class one and then we are going to create a block and inside this block we're going to create two values one's going to be value apple and it's going to equal apple and then we're going to create a value called number and we're going to assign the value of 25 to it then right inside we can create a nested class just by typing class and we're going to call it nested and this essentially means that we created a class within another class and that's how it becomes a nested class and inside here we can create some more functions so we can go function print message and it's going to take a message of type string as a parameter and finally we can write print line and insert the message and there are a few things you need to note about this nested class the first thing being that you cannot access the values and the members outside of this nested class so this class nested does not inherit from anything and it cannot use any of these but you can still use the nested class when you instantiate your outer class. And the way we do this is by creating a value of outer class one, and we're going to instantiate it by calling outer class one, and we will add the nested class at the end of our outer class. So what we're really doing is calling this class over here, which means that now when we use outer class one, we can actually call the print message function and say, hello, mate and that will call the function inside the nested class. But let's just go ahead and click on play to show you what we have so far. So as you can see the program printed hello mate. So those were the basics behind creating a nested class. Now let's move on to inner classes. All right, so for our second example, we're gonna type in class and we're gonna call it outer class two. And we're gonna create another block. And inside here, we're gonna copy these values and paste them right inside our outer class two. And then instead of creating a normal class, as we did here, the class nested, we are going to create an inner class. And to do this, we just have to add the prefix inner and then type class nested, just as we did above. And then inside here, we can write function print message. And this is not gonna take any parameters. So we're just gonna write print line. And finally, we can access the values from outside. So we can write apple is number. And as you can see, we can access everything from the outer class inside the nested class, and that's pretty great. Anyway, so let's go back to the top and create a new object. So we're gonna create value outer class two, and that is going to equal outer class two, this time with the parentheses, and then we're gonna call nested. And with this, we will have access to the inner class. So when we type in outer class two dot print message, it will print this message down there. So if we click on play, you will see that it says hello mate from the first class, which has the nested class inside. And it will say apple is 25 from the inner class, which accessed these values and printed it in a print line statement inside the inner class. And those were the basics regarding inner classes and nested classes. In the next video, we'll be covering how to create sealed classes and what those are. But anyways, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next Scotland video.